Welcome back to Detroit Becomes Sadness. Oh boy, wait. Let's see what the nice lady has to say to us this time. Fucking everyone, everyone in my Discord is having a conversation about the fucking draft. Fucking Jesus. Oh boy, that's dating this LP episode even more than just fucking live streaming it. Yay. Oh, hands off my bread, government. Alright, I don't, I don't care, David. I don't care, David. Tell me what the nice robot lady has to say. Tell me what the... I need this nice toaster lady to talk to me so she can... Yep. What? 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 <laughs> Uh, I mean, <laughs> peculiar boast, but very well, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, so what do you mean relationship? Do you mean as in equal partner, or do you mean fuckbot? I'm assuming this means equal partner, so no. Don't fuck your toaster. No, don't be stupid. So long as nobody figure, so long as nobody forgets where they put the fucking off switch. Gun. Uh, see, a book, a cell phone, pen and paper, a console, instrument. Well, okay. Well, a book would be good. As long as it was a good book, so if I get to choose the book, I cell phone. I mean, that's gonna work until it runs out of batteries, and even then, I won't be able to use it to call anyone. So yeah, uh, pen and paper. I mean, I mean, what am I gonna do with a fucking pen and paper? Console, no electricity. An instrument. I don't know how to. I mean, I guess book. If I get to pick book, then then I guess yeah, I'll just pick like a choose your own adventure book. I mean, that's not even, like, if you say no, you're lying. Androids, flying cars, spacers, and brain-connected devices. Slavery! <laughs> uh, no, I'm not, I'm not taking this seriously anymore. I mean, I mean, that's basically just like putting your kids down in front of the TV while you go off and do your own thing, except the TV in this case, is actually capable of performing care, so... I mean, there's no reason not to. It's basically the same thing the parents are doing nowadays, except a lot more healthy, so fuck it, yeah. Seeing as I work in IT, non-stop infinite. Depends. Is there a human? On so is there a human on the other side of this machine, or is it like entirely? I mean, I got surgery from a human once. It was a human controlling a machine, and that's and that's how I wound up big cripple. So uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'll trust the toaster. <laughs> they could simulate it, but no. It's. I mean, possibly yes. But by that point, they wouldn't be machines, they would be, like, or they would be artificial organisms, which would be well beyond the, the definition of what we would call a machine. If they're talking about fucking androids, then no. So long as they are, phys so long as they are physically programmed, someone is sitting down and typing out fucking lines of code into their brain, no. Think again, bucko. Uh... Am I supposed to be... Okay. Like, am I supposed to have, like, some Telltale-style shit here? Like, it's just not loading? I was busy, toaster. Oh, boy. Alright. So let's get in there. See what she wants to do. God, who, 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 who are we on? Like, who were we, who were we at? Were we at Connor or are we at Kara still? Or are we at Marcus with his 
the lack of pimp coat. He had that pimp coat for fucking, like, ten minutes. Ten minutes! He had the best friggin' character design in the game. Ah, <sighs> Kanye! Okay, we are playing good boy. Don't run over, my best friend. Reconcile with Lieutenant Anderson. What did I do? Why is he mad at me? Hank? Like... Hank... Hank, why are you upset with me? Oh, there should be game sound. Uh... Oh, shit, might be. Might be on that. Right, shit, I'm that's... In. Damn straight. Oh! Hey, well, that's that. fucked up the first eight minutes of this recording. Might be. Fuck. Ah, oh, damn it. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I want to be your friend, Hank. Um, I want to... I want to reconcile. I think our relationship got off on the wrong foot. We should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? God, you know what? I'm glad I'm actually streaming this because I, if this was like a straight up LP, I wouldn't have noticed until I fucking went to. You're as stupid as you look. Oh, until I went to edit this. So that's thank you, thank you, stream chat. There you go. Huh. It's mostly water. Uh, pineapple passion. Um, man's got taste? Man has taste. Alright. For every single last breach of hygiene regulations. Oh. Ah. Thanks, Gary. I'm starving. I'll leave that thing here. Huh. Not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Yeah, see, I am best friends with this human. My best friend, human. Uh. Oh, enjoy your meal, Hank. Enjoy your meal. I don't want to kink shame him about his food. Yeah. Um. Um. What about gambling? This Pedro. He was proposing illegal. No, Connor! Don't be a narc, you asshole. Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. Connor, don't be a narc for fuck's sake. Um, what do you think about me? Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Uh, what about you and androids, Can I Hank? Ask you a personal question, Lieutenant. Why do you hate androids so much? I just like no, don't, no, no, Hank, go down, please. I have my reasons. What about deviants? Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids. Oh, so it's literally a bug in their code. Emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed so by... So, exactly, exactly what I postulated with Kara, then. Behavior. Their orders conflict, and they go haywire, and they emotions just start acting screen. irrationally based on the last orders they the received to send them off. from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? I mean, yeah. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I saved the girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? Uh, I'm gonna tell the truth about him. Actually, no, I'm a lie. I'm focused on the case, Lieutenant. 
The rest doesn't concern me. No, Connor, you asshole! No! No, get the- No. Get the fuck- No. Fuck you, Connor. Fuck you, Connor. I was trying to be polite because I- I was trying to be nice because I figured Hank wouldn't want me digging into his fucking life. And Connor said the absolute dumbest thing you could have fucking said. So nah, fuck you, Connor. I want Hank to be my friend. This is your story. Chart. Fuck off. It shows what parts of the story you've explored and what parts you've missed. You can track the choices made by other is this... players and do many other things besides. Is it, I think you this can is the use one. This chart to replay from any point in the story. Uh but the people who designed Save recommend save my project. Yes. At least... Fuck you, Hank. No, fuck you, Connor even. I want to be a good boy to Hank. Hank a good boy. Oh, uh, I wonder if I could talk about his cholesterol. I wonder if that will fuck it up. Oh, god damn it. I, I, I get one do-over. I got one do-over. Because that one was really dumb. Ugh. I was trying to be a good boy and acting like I wasn't, like, you know... Like, stalking him and, like, trying to do, like, a profile of him and all that shit, man. Ugh. I'm actually upset. I'm actually upset about that one. Hey, Hey, Hank's got a friend. Hey, listen, I got a shit hot tip for you. Number five and the third. Lickety split. Billy's one hell of a chaser. You want to flutter? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages. <laughs> Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. And I bet Hank loses this bet. Um, illegal gambling and fraud. All right, I'm in. Oh shit! Damn straight. He's got like he's got prosthetic fingers. Hey, what the fuck? I don't regret this. I, I didn't even notice that before. That guy's got prosthetic fucking fingers. Damn. It's like a modern day thing we have. Like those those fingers. What is your problem? They. Don't you ever do as you're the, told? The muscles in the back but of your you hand control the like fingertips. It's really cool. I've I've seen a pair of those in real life. They're really neat. <sighs> I want to apologize. And be friends. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh wow! You've even got a brown nose. Yeah, head go up. Is it cyber life thought everything, huh? Head go up. Here you go. Um. Okay, ham ham boy guard. Crime. Garbage. Um, anything else? Anything else? Oh. No. Um. No. Okay. Oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Hey, Mel. I'll leave that thing here. Huh? Not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Hey, what? Our chickens are born with two legs and two wings own- What the f- Do we go like super chickens in this world? Holy shit. Um, what about your company? I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant. But I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Connor, don't be a narc. Everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. Yeah, Hank, go up. Um, what about your gambling? This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. Uh, what about deviants? Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. That's a really well rendered burger. Like, holy we shit. That a mutation occurs in the software of some androids. 
which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable yeah. behavior. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different. Are they gonna turn into a thing where Hank does like a 180 <laughs> over time? It's like, no, androids are great. You don't know about me? Is there anything you I'm a to big shiny me? boy. Um, well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Uh, what about Can you I and you Okay, so I, I have to do all of them. Good, okay. Good Why to do you know. Android so much? I have my reasons. They're very you know good reasons. Yep. What's the betting there'll be like some sort of thing where it's like Hank's family was back. killed by androids? Woo! The was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is okay. to know about me. Truth time now. Tell the truth, I know Connor. You graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings. God, Connor, orders. I swear to God, this better not make Hank go down. You I'm a. a lot I swear to God. So what's your conclusion? Hmm. Uh, I want to be sincere. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added Oh, God damn it, Connor! But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. <gasps> oh! Oh, the wink! I just got a report. Oh, the wink! Me. Fucking oh, Hank was like, Hank was, uh, you could see Hank was being like, mm, and then Connor did the wink, and he's like, nah, I, I got you, fam. I'll be in the car if you need me. That wink feels like something David Cage would never write into a story. What's the betting the fucking the, the fucking voice actor? Like he ad libbed that wink in when they're doing the facial capture. What's the betting? Hey Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. I was in my mind palace. In the elevator? No. I'm coming. Eventually. Question, that's Osbert. Yeah, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, so he didn't bother getting rid of his LED? What the fuck? Christ, if we have to Pigeons. investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. There's fucking pigeons? He's gonna be the bird man of Alcatraz. The bird toaster. Where's the kick door button? Anybody home? Where's the draw gun? Open up, Detroit police! Oh, there's our- Stay behind me. There's our cue. Oh, look a big strong can. Keep the checked up, I still boy. What the Ugh, fuck? Jesus, this place stinks. What are there fucking QR uh, codes like everywhere? What the hell? Our man's it's gone. Uh, nothing in the fridge? Nope, the suspect does not eat. Okay, so what in the fuck did I see? What in the fuck did I see over here? There's just these QR codes everywhere. The fuck?
I need some fresh air. Fake ID. Rupert Travis. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. This. Got a shirt? Military jacket. Second hand initials are T. RT. Huh. Probably initials. So he probably went to a he went to a military surplus thing or a yard sale, grabbed that shirt, and then had the ID the ID forged to match the initials. Hmm. Neat. And I oh shit, and also breaking breaking LP kayfabe here for a second. Uh, hi Caper, hi Danganronpa, hi Van, hi Yamda, hi everybody! Oh boy. Um, and no, Connor has not died. Connor has not died yet. Um, I'm trying to keep everybody alive because I really don't want to game over. I really do not want to game over for fucking Connor. He cares for wild animals. What, is he some sort of, like, groundskeeper bot that, uh, that fucking malfunctioned when someone sh fucking kicked a pigeon? Oh, there's an LED! What the hell, man? Why is it so easy just pop? LED is in the sink. Why is it so easy to pop no those fucking things man. off? No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Uh, blue blood. So he's been bleeding. He's damaged. Hmm. All right, not. God damn it, robot Jesus! Any idea what it means? RA9. It's what the other guy was Written talking 2, about. Times. 28 stab wounds! It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? It's probably the feedback loop that causes the... Looks like mazes or something. It's probably the feedback loop that causes them to go haywire. The thing that fucks up their, uh... Obsessive compulsive right. Same thing the other guy had. It's a thing that we see a lot with these with these assholes. Which means that RA9 has some sort of significance to their programming. Okay, so this duel was used recently. And he was drawing recently. He was standing up here drawing. He heard us. He, tr he tripped off the that he tripped off the thing and he fucking booked it. Ah, Jesus, I hate these things. Fucking shoot them, Hank. Maybe we'll get the guy to come out. Hmm. Okay, we have a bird cage that fell down. Uf UFO? UFD. Hmm. Hmm, so he's been hiding his stash behind this poster. I'll just take a look back here. Oh look, it's crack! By crack, I mean books! Real books. I thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. It's full of mazes Electronic and shit. books, you can't smell the paper. See the... Found something? I don't Hank, know. What the fuck? Hank, like I found a goddamn code book over here, it looks man. Like a and you're, but it's indecipherable. Why just pigeons in the cupboard? All right, Connor. Yeah, lock that bird in there to die. Yeah, go for it. Uh. I can't believe it. All right, so he knocked this over as he was running. So recently broken stainless steel. He, t he grabbed it when he was running. No fingerprints, though. Because, which, you know, Android, they don't have fingerprints, because why would they? And he scraped it along the floor as he- so he- So he was running. So he was running out the thing. He hit the birdcage in his panic. Grabbed it, because he tripped. He knocked it to the ground. Then he kicked it across the ground as he was running. Right, is that the idea? Yeah, he ran out. Realize we were there.
Okay, so he goes that way because he loses his shit. Climbs up into the roof. Okay. Not job was actually feeding these fuckers. Hey, dipshit! Don't need you to come down. Hey, Hank, if you can just shoot into the roof. Oh, okay, or you can just shoot. Fucking pigeons. Wait, wait, is that Lucas Kane? What the fuck? That's Lucas Kane from Fahrenheit. Get back here, Lucas. Got some fucking Dragon Ball shit to answer for with the Aztecs. Fast but risky, easy but slow. Fuck it. Fast but risky. Oh, fuck me. Uh, safer detour, direct but crowded. Safer detour. I don't want to run into people. That'd be rude. There he is. Fucking, he just... Oh god, alright, where'd he go? There he is. Get back here, Lucas, you dick! Ah, oh. Damn it! Direct with slow, save a detour! Fast but risky, fast but risky, let's do it! Oh god, it's gonna go poorly. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, you can't do this, Hank! Fuck! Back here! Stop running so fast! Very kind of safe and slow. Yeah, oh, god damn it, I slowed myself down. Shit. Uh I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him in here. Shit. Fuck! I fucked up, I fucked up, I've lost him, I've lost him. God damn it. Oh hang on him! Hang on him! Shit! Uh, um, shit, 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 chances of survival, uh, oh, fuck, oh, no, okay, Hank has a 89% chance of survival, but he won't know that, uh, so if I save Hank, Hank go up, but I lose the Deviant, if I, uh, oh, gotta save the boy, gotta save our boy. It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't. Friend! Friend! That's alright. You know what it looks like. We'll find it. Oh. I mean, percentage wise, he was gonna make it anyway. But he doesn't know that. He doesn't have a supercomputer in his dick. Oh. Hank, don't scare me like that, best friend. A boy and his bot. <laughs> I mean, my software in my software in instability went up like a fucking massive amount, but like, I said, Hank, my friend. Hank, my friend. Oh boy. Okay. Oh goddamn! If only. Ugh. If I'd been just a little bit faster. If I'd just been a little bit fucking faster, I could have got him before he had a chance to run into Hank. And Hank could have saved me instead. We could have been friend. Ugh. Damn it.